Welcome to our exploration of the dynamic Earth. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of earthquakes and the faults that cause them. Earth's crust is divided into massive pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving and their interactions can cause sudden movements known as earthquakes. Let's explore three main types of faults where these movements happen. Normal faults, reverse faults and strike-slip faults. First, we have normal faults. In a normal fault, the crust is being pulled apart. One block of crust moves downward relative to the other block. This happens due to extensional forces, the kind that stretch the crust. When the stress becomes too great, the rocks snap and an earthquake occurs. Next, we have reverse faults. These are the opposite of normal faults. Here, the crust is being compressed pushed together. One block is thrust up over the other. These compressional forces build up stress until the rocks finally break, causing an earthquake. Finally, we have strike-slip faults. In these faults, the blocks of crust slide past each other horizontally. This sideways motion is due to shear forces. When the stress overcomes the friction holding the rocks together, they slip, leading to an earthquake. Understanding the different types of faults helps scientists predict and prepare for earthquakes. Remember, in the event of an earthquake, drop, cover and hold on to stay safe. Our planet is constantly changing and moving. By studying these movements, we can better understand and adapt to our dynamic Earth.